Hello again. This is the Watering Man Spiritual Toolbox number 147. And I'm going to start a new series in John chapter 3. This is going to be number 1. John chapter 3, verse 1. And it's audio recording number 465, examination table number 127. Let's start dissecting this, okay? Now. I'll start out reading it from the King James Version. The King James Version of the Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 1, <clears throat> There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> No, no. <clears throat> the first word there they translate as there was is en, but it's uh, the number 2258. It's the verb form of this. Okay, hang on, it's this word right here. Strong's G 2258. Ain. Ain. There's lexicon. I mean. I mean. <clears throat> okay. They're pronouncing the ain. It's spelled like E inside this been saying in. Okay. A lot of times they translate it it's the I N it's in. But I think it's what, seventeen twenty two, I think. I didn't look that back up, but it's the the one the fixed position that okay, this is the more the transitional state. Or your existing, 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 in whatever, wherever you're at, okay? Now, this word is an imperfect tense of 1510, okay? I'll get there in a minute. In the Strong's, it means I was. <clears throat> your old self, in here. I was. This, this, uh, uh, Nicodemus coming to Jesus at night a time of ignorance I was at that whatever state uh, speaking in turn take it internally not just a history lesson back then you can see it that way but know that that is it teaches how we utilize it right now what's going on right now okay now this in here, 2258, is a verb. It's an imperfect tense of 1510. As strong as it means I was. In uh, 1510, is that E I M I? That, uh, hang on. I'm going to have it pronounced. Strong's G, 1510. I me. I me. I me. Right. And the I me, it's an imperfect form of that i me is like to be to exist to happen to be present or i exist in the strongs and the thayers to be to exist to stay to stay in that poop thinking in your own righteousness as a mere man you're seeing here taste touch and smell it's got that big eye in the middle to stay there to remain there so basically to disagree that Nicodemus thing, being a hero, doing it himself. Doing it out of your own beast nature, in other words. Out in, taking it to inside here, dealing with you. <clears throat> it's like coming into the eye of the storm and doing anything but not but agreeing in hot pursuit. Yes, sir. Doing a 180 degree about face from that old poop thinking and going full bore in hot pursuit with God. <clears throat> This Nicodemus thing is being a hero, uh, a victorious dude in their own strength. Okay, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself a little bit, but I'll get there in a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> you're 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 choosing to disagree, whether you do do it consciously, anything, but being in hot pursuit of God, following God with all you got. 
Yes, sir, daddy, chop it out, skim it all. You're disagreeing. Okay, so when it's coming to Jesus, it's like coming before that seed within you, the Christ within you. Okay? Because isn't, isn't God making his appearance in you, in your, in your thinking processes? He's regenerating. Okay, I'll get to all this stuff later, okay? Throughout this chapter, okay? He's baptizing you in the Holy Spirit. That's what's the most important. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I agree. I agree. I agree. I exist back into you. As you're doing that, you're being submerged in that bullying, water, thought processes of God, and that bitter stuff. That's just not very pleasant to your will, your purpose, your desires of that old natural beast nature. You got to surrender that. Turn 180 degree from that. Go back into God, full bore. Not just once, each and every time. All this time of purifying is habitually staying in that. It's a repeated, repeated baptismo. It's a repeatedly dip or submerge in that vinegar solution, that boiling hot water, and in that vinegar solution, thrashing that stuff off, <coughs> chopping it out, boiling it out, so you can skim it off. God skims it all, but you agree, just agree, 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 or he chops it out, agree, agree, agree. He's purifying you down and throughout thoroughly to God's standards, okay? Now, this Nicodemus is, is representing this when you come into this island. He's staying in his own might and power. His own, he's victim. Trying to be victorious or successful or getting, it don't matter. He's saying, I'm God. My might and power and my ego is my God. He's identifying with that. That's what we got to not do. If you want to take history, that's, that's what, don't do it the same way. See that? See that as, don't be a Nicodemus. In your mind. Okay. I'm getting way ahead of myself. But that's all right. <coughs> Lay this out a little bit. <coughs> so he's saying. In this transition. Even here. This 2258. It's a transition like through that pipeline. But in this one. He's not going anymore. Any farther either. Because he's like that pillar of salt, or like he's looking back at his ruin and ashes, that Sodom and Gomorrah ruin and ashes, that that worthless, detestable poop thinking, that your own righteousness, he's staying in that. And when you do that, it doubles, it doubles, it doubles. No matter if you say it's good, bad, ugly, it don't matter. It's eating from the wrong tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, your own knowledge of good and evil. You're off the mark, off the will of God. You're shooting your arrows, your efforts in the wrong direction. Okay? Now, <clears throat> in this word, I, me, this 1510, that, that's the imperfect tense of 1510. That's what this E in here is. It's um, saying whatever state you're at, this E in is also a verb, right? You got to agree with God. Or disagree. There is no, well, I'll just hang out here in the eye of the storm because all these pressures are too much for me out there. No, in that twinkling of an eye, in that eye of the storm, you got to decide. Agree with God or anything else is disagreeing with God. <laughs> Vomit you out of his mouth. The other way, come on back to me. We'll kill the fatted calf and I'll give you increase. Into me, more glory. Ooh, ah, oh, ah. Your sin, hearing, taste, touch, and smell is opened up a little bit more to God. Okay? God's right mindedness. Okay. Now, in this I, me, it's uh, you're existing back into the self existing one, or you're existing in that old righteousness thing. Right? If you're trying to do it by your own might and power, you're falling away. Right? Subsiding away. It uh, means 
to exist, to happen, to be present. I exist in the strong sayers to be, to exist, to stay, to remain, be in a place of just yuck. Going back to your own worthless, detestable bullshit. Thinking in your head. That's what that's what it's meaning here, okay? Whatever state you're at, okay? <laughs> I know I pulled out pulled out a whole lot from in, in that one word. I was going all over the place there, but I'm laying it out, okay, and we'll break it down. <coughs> now, the second word in there that they didn't translate here, but it's it's that num uh, number number one one six one eleven sixty one. It's D E day. Strong's D eleven sixty one. Day. 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 See, so there was that's that that's that in in transition. Whichever way you're going, it's a verb. Okay, you agree or disagree? Okay, that's or I and it's coming from my, I me that it, I exist. Okay, to be present. I'm presently in this state of my thinking. Agree or disagree? This second word here, which I didn't even translate, is uh, day. That's a con that's a adversative or continuative. That's in the eye of the storm. It's to agree with God. It's adversative to disagree with God. Fall away. See, saying I exist in this fall away state. Falling back into my own bullshit thinking. My worthless, detestable yuck. Okay? I'm staying as this yucky, humanistic thinking that God says, um, uh, acknowledge and make God true and all men, all this yuck, nasty, yuck, poop thinking, your humanistic thinking. Uh, it's a liar. Make God true, acknowledge God true, and all this humanistic thinking, your own in here, is a liar. Don't trust that dog, that barking alpha dog, that, you know, none of that stuff. He hauling donkey, sneaky snake, parakeet that's all messed up. Okay, it's just speaking beast nature to you. Don't trust your own beast nature. Okay? Now, in that day, a DE, 1161, it's both adversative, disagreeing with God, and it's continuative. When you agree with God in hot pursuit, full bore, you do 180 degree from that stuff, that old poop stuff, and head back to God. Your own righteousness, and you head to the righteousness of God. In full bore, shooting all your efforts, everything you got, towards the mark of God, towards the will of God. It's agreeing with God. It's continuative. It's connecting you to God. God gives the increase. See? It's not by your might, your power, disagreeing. Anyway, good, bad, ugly, any of this stuff. It's all yuck. Absolutely not allowed. You're qualifying to fall away. <coughs> okay, I think it's a word, M-E. Can't remember the number. It's down in these verses. Okay? We'll get to it. I've already done it before. Um, and that's qualified negation. It's qualifying you. You negated God. Oops. Back out in the wilderness. Back out in the desert. You're going to have to take some more. Be reasonable, my child. Sit my way, right? You don't have it right yet. Better try again. Here, it's double it. Turn up twice side. <laughs> okay. Now. So it's basically agree or disagree, whatever state you're in, wherever you're at. Okay. Now. So that's there was, and then there's day, and then amen. A M A N. And that's number four four four. A T H R O P O S. Anthropos. Oops, that's the wrong button. Strong's G444, Anthropos. Anthropos. Okay, that's a masculine noun. <clears throat> it's 
It's coming from 435 in the continents or the face, the appearance. Uh, let's see, what's, I got it right here. Appearance, especially the look or expression of the face. What's in your face, your brain, your mind, your thought processes, the expression. No manipulation, no none of this, or are you in hot pursuit, basically. Okay, the continents of 3,700. Okay, let's go ahead and get these. And that, that's man-faced, okay? Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's uh, from 43, uh, 435, and uh, the continent's from 3,700, and it says man-faced, a human being, okay? Now, um, <clears throat> just a second. That 3,700 is uh, autonomy. Remember, I covered that before. It's where you're seeing, here and taste, such a smell. And it's... Um, and then coming from that, an alternative of that, when you agree and into God, it's ah, oh, wow. Well, this also Nicodemus, he's not. He's agreeing with his own carnal way or trying to find some other way to Christ, other way to God than through the gate. Like in John chapter 10, verse 1 through 10, they're all thieves or robbers. Any other way, you can't do it by your own might and power, any kind of manipulation, anything. It's oh, yuck, oh, you. Ooh, I put yuck on it to put emphasis. Ooh, that's poop. That stinks. It's all dung for winning Christ. That's all poop. Okay, manure. You're going back in to eat manure. Okay. God don't let that go through. He doesn't give an increase into him, into his righteousness. None at all doing that. You can't do it by your own might and power. That's what this Nicodemus is record. It's trying to be victorious and hero and all this stuff by your old man stinking thinking, doing it some other way than agreeing with God. Can't do that. Ooh, yuck. And it's by the supreme authority, Father God. Saying, nope. You're trying to overrule God in your own carnal mind. I'll do it some other way. I don't have to do it with you. I'm not being obedient to you. I'm not grateful to you. What? That's what you got to do. Turn from that old crap thinking and be obedient to God. Because he wants the best for you. He causes all this stuff to work together for good to them that love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he did predestinate not to be. It's just conformed to the image, to the exact representation. He's bringing you right back to the way he thinks. A fire. Or in whatever process, wherever spot you're at, where you're supposed to be, in whatever order, whatever level, magnitude, each seed is supposed to be. Are we still supposed to be this real, real lightweight seed? That's what it's been. Lightweight, no glory, a little glory. As it goes along, you get more and more and more glory in God's glorious nature, his brightness. Whoa, his character. You're increased, you're changing. He's purifying that marble, each marble. You're thinking however he sees fit. He's placing it in the body where he sees fit. Okay? Now, yeah, optonomy, okay? That's optonomy, and then where it comes from, that other, you know, agree into God, and then and you're seeing certain things, and then, wow, 3708, you agree, that hurrah-o, hurrah -oh, hurrah -oh, is a <coughs> where you're green, green and getting that increase, and it's wow, okay. Well, you can't get there doing it your own might and power, you can't be victorious in your own poopy thinking, in your own righteousness, no manipulating, no nothing, coming to him in ignorance, trying to be concealed, a thief and a robber. How they. Normally come at night if they come they're coming at night a lot of times to to be concealed. Sneak up on them. Okay. Alright, now where else just try to come and just bully them and say, You ain't gonna do that to God. It don't matter what you do. You can't you can't overpower God. Okay? 
Okay, now let's head back here and get this other word that it comes from. That's from 3700, doing it that man-faced way. It's a human being way. You can't do that. You can't see here, taste that smell, and get any increase in back into God's righteousness. Doing it that way, you're just disagreeing with God, and it's absolutely not allowed by God. Okay? Now, <clears throat> comes from that word and 40, 435, 435. It's the A-N-E-R. <clears throat> Strong's G, 435, Anath, Anath. Okay. This is all that humanistic thinking. It's that anthropos, et cetera, that yuck thinking, okay? It's telling me all this stuff. It's nasty. You can't do it. You can't force God into nothing like that. You can't overpower God. Okay? Now, this on there. It's a masculine noun. It's a primary word. And it goes right along with that. It says a primary word of 444. That's anthropos. Speaking of that man faced, that beast nature stuff. A humanistic thinking. You can't do it by your might and your power. Okay? And it's a reference to a. A male, okay, an individual male in the Strong's, okay. Thayer's is a man, uh, a male, a husband. Any, all this is a per the natural person by your own might and your power, okay. That's the two words that that anthropos is coming from, okay. So that's just that man face, humanistic thinking. You can't do it that way. It's not by your might, your power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord, right? And trying to force that stuff, your might and your power, your man maneuver thinking, your own righteousness, ah, get out of here. That's not going to get you nowhere good. You want to double, 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 fall into that bullshit thinking. Deeper and deeper and deeper to your own righteousness, your worthless, detestable... Uh, mistress rags, uh, yuck, dung. Like, okay, as Apostle Paul put it, it's all dung. I count it all dung for winning Christ. It's all, it's, yeah, thank you. Now, it's all in that. Tyler, it's getting ready to get into that old uh, Nicodemus crap. A character. <laughs> that's your, that's speaking like you. You're always thinking, thinking. <sighs> now, and all of a sudden there in the natural, there was a man. That's everything, what I've covered so far. It's actually uh, the in and transition, whatever state, and day, you're agreeing or disagreeing. And the anthropos, you're trying to do it like your anthropos way. Okay, your humanistic way. And it says of, that's not right, it's EK, 1537. <clears throat> Strong's G, 1537, ek, ek. Remember what's that out of? From out of. And it's denoting the origin. Where's that from out of? Is that from out of God's returning back to God? Agreeing with God, or is that from what out of your own stinking thinking? Well, it just told you right there, right before that, from your anthropos thinking, from your, your own man faced, yuck, poopy bullshit thinking, your own righteousness, which is filthy, stinking rags. It's worthless and detestable. That's what bullshit means. It's worthless and detestable. Okay? <clears throat> Now, so, there was a man, a lot more than that, uh, of, it's from out of, now the is the next word, and that's translated from 3588, H-O, ha, that's, the, that's this word. Strong's G, 3588, ha, ha. I remember in this when God's dealing with us in our thinking processes inside, that's right now. Okay? We're not looking at this dumb history lesson. 
that don't do us a lot of good to some fella way back here talking to Jesus and all this stuff. Use that as an example. Right now, how do I deal with it right now? Well, in these storms of your life, it's, what, it's just kind of showing you stuff. Okay? How to deal with it. What you're doing when you're agreeing or disagreeing. And you don't have to consciously think, I'm disagreeing with you, God. You can't, if you do that, you're disagreeing. But anything other than just being in hot pursuit of God, turning 180 degrees from all your own natural carnal stinking thinking, ways good, bad, and ugly, that tread knowledge of good and evil, and just going full bore back into God, shooting all your efforts, all your arrows, arrows, in the correct direction, back toward the will of God, to God's will be done. Right, like Jesus said, right before he went to the cross, and he's in the garden, he said, Father, if possible, let this cup pass from me. But nevertheless, not my will be done, but your will be done. That's our example. Pattern so. This is the doing it over and over and over in your mind. Okay? It's right now. Present. Okay? Continually, right? When you're doing it. Right? And these storms are like, God's trying to, God's bringing these opportunities for you to agree to Him. <clears throat> Come out of this ignorance, darkness, this poopy thinking this way like this Nicodemus was champion of the people trying to do it by humanistic ways it won't work you can't stay with that you stay in that poop thinking you just double your trouble no matter if it looks good bad ugly it don't matter okay now and this is getting down here to says where it says there was a man of that's from out of the, and that's at the, uh, ha, H-O, 3588. That's talking about this marble thinking that God's purifying. He's working on one thought process, one little area at a time. Don't go back to your old poop thinking, your own righteousness. Don't be like a Nicodemus coming in darkness and trying to manipulate and just do it your way. It's not by your might, your power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord, okay? All right, okay, you know, repent from that, change the way you think, but it's annoying, okay? This, the, this one, that one, the definite article, this marble of my thinking process. God's working on it. Yes, sir, Father. Chop, shall I cut to chop this board out of, out of your humanistic thinking? No way, man, I will do it. I'm going to hang on to that stuff. Nicodemus style. Because I'm ignorant and in darkness. I'm coming to you, darkness, or whatever. It's just, yeah, man face bullshit. Okay? No, you gotta turn from that 180 degrees and start shooting your efforts back in the God. Not manipulate, not anything, not hot, cold, nothing. He vomit that stuff out of his mouth. Gotta be not lukewarm or cold, I mean. But being a hot pursuit of God, that's the only way you get in. Only way you get a little bit of increase. A little bit by little bit by little bit. God's baptizing that pickle thinking process, if you or cucumber thinking process, if you will, through that boiling water, boiling thought processes in that storm. Down in the bitter stuff, it's just hard for you to swallow, so to speak. Hard for you to take partake in. To go, oh, I'm going to give up on that stuff. He's got to bring it to the point where you surrender. <clears throat> Woo, it's an opportunity. Not to go, oh, man, I'm being, I'm having to give up and give up on this. And, oh, man, cry about it. And it's rough. But you, it's for you. It's not just to beat you down. It's because... <clears throat> Man, I gotta give up on this stuff, and oh my goodness, whoa, it's me, pain, grief, and suffering. Identifying with that stuff, identifying with your own man made thing, whether you're haughty, proud, arrogant, or it'll be <laughs> whoop pup syndrome. Okay, no, pity part of me, no, 
Okay. Now, <coughs> now the <coughs> there. Oh, excuse me. Oh, huh. there was a man from out of the this thinking process, this marble. Okay, the Pharisees. Okay. Now, this Pharisees, nasty critters, religious separatists, it's at 5330. It's P H A R I S A I O S. This word. Strong's G, 5330. Fadisayas. Fadisayas. Hang on, turn my note. Yeah. All right. Now, it's a religious separative. Okay. Um, let me go in here and I'm going to read it right out of, I think it's yeah, right here. Okay. Oh, I'm running out of time. I'll have to continue there. I'm on, on Pharisees. And uh, I'll, I'll continue there next time. Okay. I'm just about to run out of time. They're religious separatists and they're better enemies with Jesus Christ and his call. Now, this is a Spiritual Toolbox 137, John chapter 3, verse 1, or recording number 1. Thank you. Bye-bye.